Hey guys, Pample here on the Volt server, and um, I've been trying to combat the lag that's been plaguing my first two videos. I put the graphics on fast rather than fancy, and also changed a couple of the other video settings, and hopefully it'll work. If not, then you'll just have to kind of bear with me here. So, anyways, uh, last episode we attempted to do mining. And today I'm going to teach you how to make your first machine. Now, um, the first machine we are going to make is called the uh, Metallurgic Infuser. Metallurgy is a process of basically um, taking a metal and changing it in some way, shape, or form. Which is exactly what the Metallurgic Infuser does. It does metallurgy and infusing all in one. Now, this is the recipe. As you can see here, um, these two objects, the basic circuit can, it, and the control circuit, they keep alternating because you can use either or or a combination of both. My recommendation would be to use the control circuit because here's the, re um, here's the recipe for the control circuit and here's for the basic circuit. And basically if you can't tell, the, uh, the uh, control circuit is a lot easier. And there, there's a cow out there, I think. Yeah. I had him on the roof for taking pictures of him and stuff for my intro picture. And um, they kind of fell off the roof and onto the platform, and now they're in my house. Like that one. That one somehow managed to get upstairs. No, no, stay out of my bed. Okay. Anyways, also for the metallurgic infuser, you're going to need a source of electricity. Now, the only problem with that is that most forms of electricity requires steel, which you can't make without the metallurgic infuser. So, however, I did find one source, there may be more, but I did find one, called the heat generator. It's powered off of lava buckets, and these ingredients here, you don't need any form of machinery to actually make it. So we'll use that for the time being. It'll only be kind of a... Um, a makeshift until we get solar panels up because solar power is easy you just need a lot of materials so here's where I'm going to put my machines now to get started on the heat generator we need three platinum ingots um, we need two iron and redstone now these things here these are new to us this here is an enriched alloy you're going to become very familiar with this because this is probably the one of the most important components in all these machines other than like iron and redstone and, well, I guess it kind of counts as iron and redstone, because if you look at the recipe, iron and redstone. This is why I said it's high priority that you get a lot of redstone, because you're going to need a lot of these, so therefore you're going to need a lot of redstone. So I'm just going to make, like, two for now, because I already have some. So now I have six. Okay. And also there's the enriched iron. Enriched iron can be made in three different ways. You can do two enriched alloys and a piece of iron and get six of them. Two pieces of copper dust and iron and get four of them. Or two pieces of tin dust and iron and get four of them. I would suggest, just to save a bit of redstone, that you use the copper dust or tin dust method. However, since we don't have the ability to turn ingots into dust, we are going to use the enriched alloy method to start. So, iron there, and you get six enriched iron. And rem remember these, because you're going to want these for later when I show you how to make steel. But that will come later. So I think we're ready to assemble. So I put that there. Oh, nope, not there. There and there. Three platinum on top, iron in the middle, and redstone on each side. Nope, that's wrong. Um, what am I doing? Okay, iron here, iron here. And we've got a heat generator. Now I'm just going to put this down here or something that works so yeah what you can do with that mm -hmm. is just put a lava bucket in it now uh, this is the fuel bar this is how much fuel it's got in it and here's the electricity bar how much electricity this thing currently holds okay so you're going to want to remember that is the fuel to how much lava that there's left that has to be turned to electricity is the amount of electricity I think you can get uh, 120 kilojoules for a bucket of lava. Not a lot. Uh, well, I'm not too sure. This is how much fuel is left, how much lava is left, and this is how much 
electricity is producing, so obviously I was wrong with that first one. But, anyways, yes, moving on. Next, we are going to make our metallurgy diffuser. Now, okay, got the recipe here. Going to make some control circuits. Going to take those and surround them with platinum. Oh, I'll platinum. them. Hold on a second, I'm just going to grab some more materials and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I got some more materials. First off, I got three more pieces of platinum. Second off, I got this. It's called copper wire, which I forgot to get in the beginning. It's made by um, putting insulated copper wire into a crafting table. And this is made by taking um, leather or wool and copper ingots. Pretty simple to make, or you could do a singular unit. So, yeah, I guess it's your choice. Do you want to raise le uh, cows or do you want to raise sheep? Most people... Okay, well, my volts just crashed, but anyways, got it back now. Anyways, as I was saying, copper wire, yes, made out of um, the wool or the leather, so it's your choice whether you want to raise sheep or raise cows. I think most people raise cows mainly because they don't know you can make it with wool. But yeah, the choice is yours. And anyways, uh, we are going to take this to make the metallurgic infuser. And... Um, they basically work the same way as wires do in Tegit, so you don't need to worry too much about that being any different. Put those right here. Okay, got two control circuits. Now we still need another one of these. No problem. I did that wrong again. Okay, four here and the iron here. Okay, these in the middle, here's here, all these around here. The cows are trying to mess with the doors. Okay, so we should be good. Now, just going to plug in the wire, I believe, here. Metallurgy infuser can go here. So as you can see here, here is our metallurgy infuser interface, which we I will teach you in a second. But anyways, as you can see, the electricity has gone from the heat generator into the metallurgy infuser, thanks to the wire, which we set up. And now it's using up the rest of the fuel to make more power. So I'm going to grab more materials and I'll be right back and I will show you how this first machine of yours works. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do, take um, some coal and smelt it in a regular furnace. And here it goes, it's smelting itself now. And the result that you will get is compressed carbon. Ooh. You're going to need this to make steel. Now, opening up the interface, each thing is kind of kind of new. We, anyways, we have the orange, the purple, the red, the blue, and the green. The green is for power. So, like, say you have a battery and you want to transfer energy via batteries, which you can do. Um, then you put the battery in here and it would fill up this bar. Um, the red is the input. Blue is the output. Uh, purple, this is fuel. And orange is for upgrades. Now purple mm. is for fuel, which is what the compressed carbon is for. The metallurgic infuser can be used for a couple things, such as making uh, bronze and making steel. Now, for making steel, you're going to need enriched iron and compressed carbon. Now, the enriched iron will go here, and the compressed carbon will go into the fuel. Now, watch this bar here on the left when I put it in. Now if you can see that, a small amount of black went up showing that there is currently carbon in there. And now this is smelted into steel dust. Steel dust can be smelted into steel ingots. Now, um, I wouldn't go filling up this with compressed carbon unless you plan on mass producing a bunch of steel. You don't need a lot of it. As you can see, one compressed carbon has already made three pieces of steel and is still going. Now, like I said, it can be used to make bronze. Okay, blah, more issues with volts. My computer does not like me recording it and playing it at the same time, but oh well. Anyways, as I was saying, um, you'll um, to make bronze, you need tin dust in the fuel and uh, bronze, er, yeah, br no, copper in the red. However, when this is filled with carbon, you can't uh, put tin in. So what you'd have to do there is dump out the carbon. 
which is used with the dump button. That there just empties out anything within the fuel bar, which will therefore allow you to put more stuff into it. But since I'm going to probably be making more steel later, I'm just going to put this in, fill up a couple, and there we go. It's all good again. So yeah, that's it for this episode. I'm going to get going before my computer yells at me again. And yeah, next episode I will continue on this. Um, hope I managed to explain a couple things for you, new recipes and stuff. Like, subscribe, favorite, whatever, comment, smiley faces and whatnot. Follow me on Twitter. I have a Twitter. No one follows me on Twitter. Makes me sad. Not really. And uh, thanks for watching.